Time now for the morning rush. Investigators in San Juan County are searching for a woman last seen at a Mennonite church. 27 year old Sasha Krause was last seen at the church where she worked on Saturday. Krause was getting ready to teach a class when she disappeared. Now, her car was found nearby. If you know anything in the case, you're asked to call the San Juan County Sheriff's Office. A New Mexico woman is facing charges for leading police on a chase with her ch small child inside the car. Farmington police say 29 year old Lachelle. Denny was driving erratically on Monday night. Video from that night showing the chase through town. Police say Denny then took off on foot, leaving her child inside the SUV. Erica. And as that system from yesterday moves out, we will be seeing some stronger northwesterly winds, causing a wind advisory to go into effect this morning through 12 p.m. This is for the East Mountains and East Central Plains. A video of what seems to be a glitching traffic light is gaining a lot of attention. The light is at Central in Wyoming. Now it switches from green to red, then back to green in seconds. But the city says the light does that because Albuquerque fire rescue engines and ambulances have equipment which lets them freeze or change the traffic lights to get through intersections faster. This morning, a woman will continue trying to find out who owns a road off course leading to the Southwestern Indian Polytechnic Institute. It's covered in potholes and neighbors want it fixed. Agencies like NMDOT, the city, and Bernalillo County say it's not their road. NMDOT fixed some potholes as a courtesy, but says it can't do more. Voting for UNM's new official seal is going on right now. After receiving backlash for their seal depicting a frontiersman and a conquistador, the university wants people to weigh in on four different designs submitted by local artists. Voting runs through Friday. We have a link posted at always on KRQE.com. New this morning, Santa Fe School Superintendent wants to extend the school year. The New Mexican reports at a board meeting, Superintendent Veronica Garcia presented a draft of the school calendar to add 30 extra days in the summer through a voluntary program. Garcia says the extension depends on funding and if teachers would be willing to work. The results are in for the city of Albuquerque's citizen satisfaction survey. About a third of the roughly 600 respondents said that Albuquerque has become a worse place to live in the last year. A majority of the respondents also believe that the city is doing a poor job addressing homelessness. They also added that they would like to see a soccer stadium built for the New Mexico United near UNM. Erica. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index for today. We're keeping it nice and low at a two. We did have some fog this morning, but it looks like that has cleared. However, we will have some breezier winds by later this afternoon, up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Just six hours ago, the first day of President Trump's impeachment trial wrapped up. The very late night, due to lawmakers fighting over trial rules, senators voted along party lines. In the end, Republican senators defeated nearly a dozen attempts by Democrats to call on new witnesses and documents. Opening statements set for this afternoon. With the help of social media, a New Mexico mom is trying to fight to find out why her son was shot dead. 16 year old Elijah Chavez was shot to death in Farmington last month. A 15 year old suspect was arrested, now facing involuntary manslaughter charges. Now, Chavez's loved ones are taking to social media with the hashtag Justice for Elijah and asking witnesses to come forward. New Mexico State University teachers hoping a $1.5 million federal grant will help with her research on antibiotics. Chemistry professor Paula Mera says that she'll use the money for research equipment and more researchers. Her work focuses on designing new antibiotics to control the growth of antibiotic resistant bacteria. There is at least one confirmed case of coronavirus here in the U.S. Now, that virus is currently sweeping across China. The Center for Disease Control says the patient is a male, a U.S. resident who just came back from China. He is currently in isolation at a hospital in Washington state. Officials are looking into who the patient may have been in contact with since his return. New at 6, recall alert. Toyota and Honda recalling more than 6 million vehicles due to two separate airbag problems. Honda's recall covers certain Honda and Acuras that have Takata airbags. They can hurl, hurl rather shrapnel at drivers during an accident. Toyota is recalling a different type of airbag that may not inflate in a crash. Recreation fees at U.S. forests in New Mexico could soon increase. The changes would affect campgrounds and day sites in the Carson, Cibola, Gila, Lincoln, and Santa Fe National Forests. Officials say that they are looking for ideas that could cut costs and help resources when it comes to managing those sites. As the 2020 legislative session continues today, APS wants you to help them send a message. The district's asking schools, teachers, staff, and families to tweet at least one positive image and message each day during the legislative session. Just use the hashtag, a day in school. The district hopes it will remind lawmakers of the important work being done in schools. Okay.
And here's a look at that morning drive. There are no accidents out there to report, and there's just some slowdowns near the Big Eye. Here's a look at traffic. You can see no problems out there and no fog to worry about in the metro. One New York teen wants to make a change when it comes to the big game. He wants to move it to Saturday because of school and work. 16 year old Frankie Ruggieri has started a change.org petition. And that's uh, to get others to get behind his idea. But he's up against a good fight, largely because the NFL believes that TV ratings and revenue will be stronger by keeping the game, the big game, on Sundays. Ooh.